And our live game is Brazil against Switzerland. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Hi everyone and thanks Peter. It's great to be on board. Looks to slip it through. Left maybe. Fernandinho. Neymar passes it through. Well played, he saw that coming. Daniel Alves. And it's William. Well positioned to make that interception. Seferovic brings it forward. Rodriguez. Shot a goal! Douglas Costa. Decent progress down the left. Throw it. Shakiri. Plotting from out on the right hand side. He's thrust his way through. Shakiri delivers. Gets up to head it! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Yeah, and he probably didn't get the cleanest of contacts there either. You know, I think he went for too much power with his header. David Luiz tries to get it forward quickly. Miley Granit Xhaka Brazil still without an attempt on target Douglas Costa gets it back and it's Seferovic Fernandinho David Luiz Felipe, Douglas Costa, tries lifting it over, Neymar unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. William, Daniel Alves, they didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box and that speaks of little ambition. Granit Xhaka, Jamaili, Juru, Granit Xhaka. The referee brings the first half to a close. Reflections on the first half? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Douglas Costa. Seferovic tries running with the ball at his feet. Fernandinho. William. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Bechmedi demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, they know he's the root of potential problems, Peter, and they seem intent on uprooting that problem like that. Granit Xhaka. Barami. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch not to give up hope just yet. Switzerland have a sub ready to come on. Well 
defended. That had to be done. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The idea was good, though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? William battles to win it back. Looks like a good ball through. And that is going out for a goal kick. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Granit Xhaka. And back to base. Sommer gets it upfield. Felipe as scoreless games go I'd be happy to see this one carry on a bit longer because it's had great honesty and hard work and total commitment as for a possible winner I'm still not predicting well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake I think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it and I think that's happened in this case Douglas Costa with the ball through. Granit Xhaka knocks it towards the front. Fernandinho. Douglas Costa. Plays a clever pass. And the defence can get it clear. William tries to stroke it through. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And the whistle goes, so nearly a telling finale.